Big JM in the morning. And look at that traffic. The sun is not out yet. And this is about three kilometers from the CBD. It's early in the Cockburn. I feel really cool. I feel good. To be part of Nairobi series. I think they're lying. Oh, for now, with this, I'm breathing here. It's good. <laughs> Some of these women, they ganged up. Oh, turn off the camera. Who are you people? And where is the gun? Guys, yesterday it was a tough time for us to get the content, but we tried our best at least. We interviewed the, some few people. Ladies and gentlemen, my good people. It's early in the Cockwins, early in the morning here in Africa, Nairobi. Welcome to our Nairobi Siri. Early this morning, we up before the sun and we want to catch the sun rise under the city, under the sun. I hope you're excited. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a comment on the comment section. And if you are continuing subscriber, as we always do, let me see you drop a comment. So Nairobi, Nairobians are early risers. Everybody gotta put something on table and so are we early rising we are everything yes we do share it on this guy for the first time is doing the Nairobi series with us he wasn't up and ready how are you feeling bro wow I'm, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling really good I, I feel good to be, to be part of Nairobi series I think they're lying Oh, for now, with this, now I'm feeling, I, I, I'm breathing here. It's good! <laughs> yes. This guy wasn't ready. It's early in the morning. Check his channel on the description. We are here, in the box here. And as always, we are right today. We are, you try here, we on this. John. This, uh, it doesn't even go. <laughs> So have you been learning through this Nairobi series? Yes. Okay, what are your major lessons? Always be ready. Always be ready. <laughs> but are you learning about Nairobi as well? Yeah, I'm learning about Nairobi. Okay, I wish you all the best, bro. Yeah. And guys, I'm not going to disclose which uh, constituency we are headed to, but we needed to get there before the sun rises. So we're going to get it. Let's go. 6 a.m. in the morning and look at the traffic the sun is not out yet and this is about three kilometers from the CBD I imagine most of these guys are going to the CBD and this is traffic 6 a.m. 6 a.m. This is a super highway. You can be cheap for yourself. How much traffic we have. The sun is not out yet. And look at this. Just look at this.
having you Nairobi experiences at its best the city under the sun and we can see the sun showing its uh, forehead it's about to come out and today we are catching sunrise in Nairobi this is Nairobi ladies and gentlemen have you seen how far the traffic has gone and it's not moving Look at this man! You have to report to work at 8. You have to leave home before 5. So you can make it on time. Good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome again to this series of Nairobi Right here at Victor's with Victor Sunrise, I'm actually enjoying the view of the sunrise <laughs> Today is a very exciting day We woke up very early team Victor's We have John here with John on camera We also have uh, alongside Benji Our cameraman also today Our rider as well so it's getting support from John today. Uh, we had really anticipated. Sometimes when you go for shoots, yesterday we had a very uh, strange um, experience. We went deep into this village and uh, we were shooting. And um, some of these women, they ganged up because uh, I think in that village, they know they can identify the residents it's a, it's a thing that happens a lot here in kenya if you are strange somewhere people can kind of notice that you are new there you are a stranger there so we are riding around the village and i was just shooting the streets uh that's uh, the story of embakasi central if you didn't watch that story go watch that story that is a story that God has doing for more than five hours actually. We thought we would do it for an hour. So as we were shooting, um, there is a woman who actually incited other women. And uh, we found somebody to interview and the whole village was already incited. And she was telling people how oh, there are strangers around here who have come and uh, they're walking around in guns guns like she's saying she saw us with a gun so then the villagers came out to look for us it's a very where we were walking around is a small village but there's a, a history with it you guys if you didn't watch the uh, makasi central you should go and watch it so uh, eventually as we were shooting we met these young people the ones that were calling machetes and they were cutting, they were cutting um, cattle feed. You should go watch that video. But then, cut the long story short, because today we are doing this constituency. It's a very exciting constituency with a good, rich issue. Can't wait to get into it. But I'm just bringing you guys into why today we needed uh, backup uh, with John. Um, and check out his YouTube channel. He's still doing stories in Kibera. So if you want to enjoy experiences in Kibera, uh, go check out his YouTube channel. It's on description here. So cut the long story short. We ended up um, with uh, uh, surrounded with so many villagers, both men and women. Some of them really crazy. And luckily we had a few that were understanding. Benji was on camera, so they let us just shoot, but they were talking. They were talking behind the scenes. You can hear what they were saying. If you watch that video, uh, while we were interviewed those young people, you can hear what they were saying. But it was a very insightful slot. So when we finished, uh, usually to be on the safe side, I like when I see tension, I like to turn my camera on and just record if somebody is knowing because you never know what somebody could end up doing to you 
if they kill you well and good but if they leave you alive then you have the footage at least of their face you can trace them welcome to the life of journalism and content creation this is not even journalism because it's not organized i wouldn't call it this is beyond journalism so we we ended up oh, i lost my banana so we ended up with this village so the moment we finished shooting we hadn't even finished they were like oh turn off the camera who are you people and where is the gun uh, and you was like hey, where is the gun it's funny because i refuse to speak in swahili it's my technique here with the police and also with certain people i just choose not to speak swahili so that they can treat me differently but it's funny because they didn't notice that i was doing part of the interview in swahili benji was really benji come here come here. <laughs> you need to write the story <laughs> Benji was really shook because we thought, ah, this village is just enjoying us shooting. <laughs> we didn't know there was a motive behind it. How was the experience for you? Uh, it was totally strange. The trip in Dandora. <laughs> in in, 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 in Central. Yeah. yeah. It was a bit strange because some of the villagers were wondering the kind of people are coming in our village to shoot us. Louder, be louder, bro. This is gonna be a YouTuber, <laughs> so you need to be loud. So, guys, yesterday it was a tough time for us to get the content, but we tried our best at least. We interviewed the, some few people who came up to mm. understand the situation. They accepted to be interviewed. Yeah, event, eventually we we talked them into into uh, an interview, but then they didn't want to be interviewed. The exact people who are insightful, because I think of the fear of them lying about us. So they sent us to the dump. If you didn't watch the video, go and watch the video. So we went to the dump and we finally found people to interview. But when we were interviewing again, there was another scenario. <laughs> Because we were talking with the head, of, the person who was leading the, the group there. And then we, we, we learned that there was another crazy person who was like, turn off the camera or... Or I'm, I'm taking the, I'm snatching the phone away. And everything that you have. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to run, guys. And this guy was dead serious. Made you almost <coughs> left. <laughs> I was like... Let's calm down. So I told the guy, what did I tell the guy? Come here. Come talk to us while right? you're close to us. Then the guy was like... Uh, nowadays, uh, I'm not okay. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I don't even want to come next to you. Uh, There's nothing I'm going to say. You just turn off the camera and... and go. Go. <laughs> Leave me. Or I take everything. <laughs> it was a tough experience. But eventually, we got that young artist. Uh, uh, Mti, uh, Mtimbichi. Yeah, Kunimbichi. Exactly, yeah, Kunimbichi. Yeah, Kunimbichi yeah. was really nice and he refused because he was like, these are young people trying to tell our stories, so we have to tell our story. I'm going to tell our story. Mm -hmm. And eventually we got to interview him. We hope to catch up with Kunimbichi. Kunimbichi, shout out to you. Yeah, but these are some of the difficulties that we go through to bring you content uh, and to do this you know like i was telling youtubers in kibera john now benji is about to be one you think doing stories in kibera is tough no doing stories in nairobi can be tough this guy has experienced it not the police not crazy men and women not thugs not just people who are coming out of nowhere and just saying no this is a good yeah benji has really experienced it with me and i look forward to him starting the youtube channel his youtube channel <laughs> what is your take away from these whole experiences uh just to let you know that fans it's a bit challenging and shooting but we'll try our best we won't give up bring we, you the content we'll yeah. always bring you the best it's early morning these two are out with me and uh, we are out to catch the sunrise and we managed to actually catch it so behind me 
is Missions of Hope Center Gathuri, which is in guess where? Madare. So Madare is a constituency on its own. That story aside, we appreciate your support and if you're new here and you think we deserve a subscription, please hit that subscribe button. And if you are a continued supporter, we celebrate and appreciate you. So we are here at uh, Madare. Uh, Madare is actually... Oh man, I'm, I'm really moved. Look at that uh, mini munch. So sweet. She's going to school alone. Very young, probably like three years old. So sweet. But it's early morning. In Kenya, the schools start very early for kids, any grade. 